Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with a um, finished artisan bead update for June. Um, I haven't been inspired to make any jewelry lately, so um, sorry I haven't shown you any finished updates there, but I've been working on some artisan beads and pendants, and I really wanted to show with you show you guys what I've been working on. Um, a lot of you were really happy with some of the Zuni bears that I showed you. So I've been making a bunch of those. I'm actually going to be um, releasing some for sale. Um, but I did want to say like there's going to be very limited quantity at first because um, they take a lot of time for me to make and I want to make sure that they look good. I don't want to rush through them. And um, this isn't my full-time job. I still want to do it for fun. So um, I don't want to get to the point where I'm, I'm you know, filling orders and stressed about it. So I just, this is, like I said, it's still one of my, um, it's my hobby and my release. So I'm just making things at my pace, um, which, you know, makes me happy. Uh, the first thing I want to show you guys are some earrings that, well, they're not, they are finished jewelry, but they're not a finished jewelry update because I've only made like one pair. Um, these will be, I'll probably be selling these on my Instagram. Um, but I wanted to show you guys them first love them they're little zuni bears so they have they're using my faux um ceramic technique they look like ceramic but they're not as heavy and they're really lightweight with the lightweight brass findings and the gold plated ear wires so i just love these guys too bad i don't wear earrings or i just keep them myself maybe i should just make myself a pair and just wear them once a year or something but i just love these little guys they make me so happy uh, i'm also going to have bracelet bars that look like this i have one somewhere i made and i never finished the bracelet of course um but yeah i think for now i'm only going to have the one pair available even though i know how to make remake them um just to see if they sell so i think i would probably sell these for probably 25 to 30 dollars just because they take so long to make the backs are not finished but they're gonna hang in a way where you, you can't see the back so I, I don't worry about that um they're artisan beads i don't i think that's one of the major things about artisan beads is they're not supposed to be perfect so i i worry about what they look like but i'm not going to um, fret about the part that you aren't going to see so there's the first set i haven't finished this pair of earrings but they're very similar and they're just in a refreshing orange so I thought that was really fun with how hot it is here in Arizona it's been in the hundreds for the last few weeks so I thought I'd do a light blazing orange um, I also am coming out with three um, <clears throat> earring Zuni earring collections and I'm calling this one um, Desert Sky, or Desert Night Sky, I should say. Aren't those so fun? Ugh, I want to keep these too, but I'm never going to wear them. So maybe I'll make a bracelet. Yeah, that's a great idea, Brittany. I'm so glad I just told myself that. Um, I will be making a bracelet bar out of one. Of, I'll I have to make another one, but um, so I can see. I just love it. It looks like the mountains. And this one actually looks, actually, now that I look at this one, it looks like the city of Phoenix right here. Um, it looks like a sunset, uh, fading into a night sky. Oh my gosh. I love these so much. So the, no two are ever going to be the same because of the process that I use to make these, but I love these, um, desert night sky zoonies so much. I will probably be leaving these un, um, sealed because they're there. This is clay. This is not paint. This would not fade. So there's no reason to seal it unless you wanted like a glossy version, but I like how they look. The next set is what I call Aurora Borealis, or it's another night sky, but this reminds me of like Alaska. Um, I've seen Aurora Borealis in Ohio a few times and once in Illinois, and it was never this beautiful, but um, yeah, this definitely reminds me of every picture I've ever seen of Aurora Borealis with these swirls coming down into the night sky. They make me so happy. And the other one is just like a desert landscape look with sage and terracotta and cream and white. So I think those are a lot of fun. These are not finished. I need to sand them. The edges are rough. Um, but these I didn't have time to finish before I wanted to show you guys. So I hope you guys like those. Let me know what you think. Um, here are a couple of few bracelet bars that I made. 
with my faux ceramic technique. I didn't really love how these turned out because it looks a little blotchy. So I'll just make myself something out of these. I mean, come on. I, I, it's probably going to take me a while to even use these because I have not had any motivation um, recently, especially in the last two weeks. They've been really, really uh, rough for me. Uh, and it's taken, you know, the, just everything that's going on has been taking a huge toll on my... Um, outlook on everything, uh, you know, uh, being a person of color, it's, it's been a very rough time, and I, I th I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but um, yeah, I have had zero motivation to uh, complete any actual jewelry. So my best friend's favorite color, my favorite color, I decided to make them. I, I just, I love them so much. Bracelet bars make me happy, and you know, I like to wear my um, artisan beads on my wrist because it's something that I'll see versus something that other people will see as earrings. Here are two um, Zuni Bear bracelet bars. These I will be selling. One's a bright sunshiny yellow and one's a bright, or actually it's like a pale aqua. So these are gonna be $15 each plus shipping um, because, you know, they're handmade. They take quite a bit. I mean, it took me a while to develop this, this look. Um, and uh, somebody did ask me how I make my faux ceramic and right now um, it's not something I'm going to share and there are a couple of reasons why. One is because I'm just starting to sell these items um, but the other reason, the bigger reason is because um, I, I used several different paid tutorials to and my own trial and error to come up with this technique um, and it wouldn't be fair to the artists that um, I incorporated some of their techniques to just give away that information. and. To be honest, it took me hours and hours and hours of not only watching and learning through their t um, tutorials that I paid for, but also my own trial and error. So um, for right now, um, I hope you'll understand that I won't be sharing that this specific technique. I'll, I'll keep showing you guys what, what I make with it. Maybe someday in the future, it's something I'll release, but it, it's not something I, that I will right now. And it's more out of respect for other artists. But um, I... <laughs> These are so beautiful. I just love these. I'm going to have to make. And I, I love this pattern. It's like a um, paisley leafy pattern. It's perfect for any color. These I probably, um, most of the items you're going to see today are blue. But these I would probably make um, available for made to order um, requests in different colors. So, yeah, bracelet, th this basic bracelet bar would probably be $15 plus shipping. And then um, I do have some sets of Zuni Bears available for, um, I'm gonna be turning them into earrings. I'm trying to find their matching versions here. So I have, I think four sets of these in slightly different blues. <laughs> Clearly, I made all of these at different points, <laughs> different days, but I was only feeling the color blue when I made these. So here's the first set I made. And it was actually, it's actually got a different finish than the other ones that look like ceramic, but, um, I told you guys I'm loving faces right now. I'm loving Zuni Bears, um, and I'm loving my faux uh, uh, ceramic feel. So these are actually black and blue Zunis. Um, so two, I'm of two schools of thought here. Like I could offer these for sale to, um, you know, people who are jewelry makers and they can make whatever they'd like out of them. Right now, looking at them, these are just capuchons, right? I can make them <clears throat> into a pendant by, or earring finder or whatever, a pendant by drilling a hole, or you can take the back, which I didn't finish, which is fine because you're not, this is not going to be flipping around. Um, you can glue a glue on bale. If I um, drilled a hole, you could use a pinch bale, or you could, hmm, let me think what else. I guess you could um, make it a connector by drilling a hole here and a hole here, but I don't know how great that would look. So uh, there are a couple ideas. You can always drill a hole and string through it. So I'm, I think I'm going to offer these, I'm going to make these into earrings and offer the, them for sale on my um, Instagram. However, if anybody's interested in getting a pair of Zuni Bears like this, um, whether you want me to drill a hole or not, please let me know in the comments below. Um, or you can contact me through Facebook Messenger or Instagram through a direct message there. Um, I'd be happy to talk to you. Uh, and um, these 
are the pair of two and I can check let me I'm gonna grab um, my caliper and see the um, thickness of these just one moment okay so at the thickest point these are three millimeters wide um, they're very lightweight like I said they look like ceramic but they weigh next to nothing um, I think for a pair of these the bracelet bar which is the exact same size and so this would be $15. I think for a pair of these, I would have to ask, uh, I think like 20 to $25, just because they do take quite a bit of time and artisan beads are not cheap. So I think it'd probably be $20 with shipping since, you know, it's a little bit of a deal. Um, but if you're interested, let me know and uh, I'll include the ways you can get in touch with me below um, in the uh, description. So I made this nice black and blue set. I made this, I thought I had more than this. Okay, I did. So I made this electric blue set. Oh my God, they make me so happy. Don't those just make you happy? Ugh, I love them. And then I made this darker turquoise set. And then I made this slightly, and I do mean slightly lighter turquoise set. So you could kind of see the uh, differences here. So I'm looking and I'm seeing a little bit of, um, and you see this is just like an orange dot here. And well there that I can put a hole there so that it would be covered up, but these aren't perfect. That's what happens with um, artisan beads. I think that's kind of like the, the charm of them things happen in the painting process um and then so i those are three millimeter and then i made some zoonies so this one is a one-off i think i have a a, um, a twin to it that i haven't painted but i didn't really okay so i like it because it looks really retro it's like a minty aqua with some faded uh brown um and i sanded the edges a little bit to get white back in there um I didn't make a twin and it's a little bit thicker let me see I have my caliper here it's a little thicker it is this one's about four millimeters so um, it's a little bit thicker I would you can use this as a pendant uh, I think I would just sell this by itself because I don't see it re being recreated um, he's so fun I can see somebody doing like a, a cool retro 60s vibe piece of jewelry using this guy so I just think it's so much I think it's adorable it reminds me of when I was a scrapbooker this is the type of like scrapbook and paper I would go after okay so then I have I think this is my last face oh uh, yeah the last Zuni with a face um, and he's a little bit lighter than the lightest turquoise one I showed you um, and this one is five millimeters so this is definitely a pendant not an earring um, and this would probably be like, I would say $15. And then I would uh, put a hole anywhere you'd like on it. So, and you can even do two holes, like one here and one here and have two jump rings coming out of the sides. So, I mean, it, it's a really nice quality piece. It's not gonna break and it'll last a very, very, very long time, especially if you take care of it, don't get it wet, things like that. So. And I just can't get over how much it looks like ceramic. But it's not gonna be hot like ceramic and it's not gonna weigh you down like ceramic. Okay, so next I wanted to show you, oh, I made these cute little cosmic zoonies. Like um, this one, this one's not my favorite. He's a little thinner, he's like that three millimeters. So you can see some stars and it's more of like a watercolor. I actually do really like him. I take it back. I like it a lot. Um, so it's more of like a watercolor artsy look than um, ceramic maybe. Uh, and so is this one and I love him. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much and I don't wanna sell it, but I do wanna sell it, but I don't wanna sell it. <laughs> so that's, these would definitely, I'm only making, the, I'm not remaking these. So they're one-offs. The, uh, I'll have to figure out how much I'm charging for the, um, the pendant version I probably this size would be 15 so each one of these even though this one's a little thicker um, the same amount of work went into them so uh, oops they would be 15 each and these are two inches here 
show you with my trusty dusty quilters. Um, ruler. So two inches wide, long, however you want to say it, by at the widest points, about a little over an inch and a half wide. So about just over a hair over an inch and a half wide. So they're not tiny. And these would be perfect for necklaces that were right um, underneath your collarbones, or you could do a really long one. You could even like ask me to drill a hole here. And if you know how to drill a hole, that's great. Um, and have a tassel hanging down or some chain hanging down. I mean, possibilities are endless with these guys. Let me know if you see one that you like, because I am thinking that these are going to go a little bit quickly. Um, I did have an earring sale. There are some earrings left, but I didn't take the best photos of them. So, and I'm not really worried about it. So I'll be doing that later. Um, retaking some photos. Uh, so here's a little, it's actually a bigger Zuni bear. Um, again, another blue one with some arrows. I thought this was really nice. He looks very like, it's like a porcelain blue. Um, the blue that you would see on fine china. Let's see how big this guy is. So he's just under three inches wide. So he's like three and a, two and three quarters inches long or however wide, whatever you want to say. And about just a hair under two inches tall. So he's a lot of fun. Um, this guy, he's a one-off. I'm not making him again. Um, because it's thinner. These guys, I'm gonna end up making the five millimeters thick. He's the three millimeters thick. Um, so he'll be 18 and I would uh, drill a hole or two holes or I can leave him without a hole and you can glue on your own bale using E6000, using um, resin, um, quick grip, uh, super new glue, however you wanna do it. Um, here's a little set that really was more trial and error for me. Um, that I'm going to, I'm just going to be selling these. I'm not making earrings out of them um, as a set for 18 because they're not perfect, but they still took a lot of work and they're really cute. So they're turquoise, black, and copper. These are very metallic in real life. Um, if you're interested, let me know. You can make really cute earrings out of these. And here's the back. Um, and then I made this for myself because I'm obsessed with faces. If you couldn't tell already, um, this guy, I haven't perfected it, but I thought, you know, Hey, this would be fun for me. Um, I'm probably going to, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this. Um, I have one that I haven't painted yet, um, that I actually fit into one of the, uh, bezels that I got from Spellbinders. If you haven't seen that video, check that one out, that Spellbinders haul. And then here's a big boy. I actually don't know how thick this is. Maybe four millimeter? Let me check. Um, yeah, let's see. Yep, right, it's about three and a half millimeter. So he's just like the other guys. He's going to be 18 because um, it didn't turn out exactly the way I liked it, wanted to, to but it's still really cool. Um, again, let me know if you're interested. If not, honestly, if I end up not selling any of these, I'll be totally fine with it because I want to make stuff with every single one of them. <laughs> so I have two more smaller Zoonies to show you. This one you've seen before. However, it wasn't this guy. It was a bigger guy who looked like this guy. And I don't know where that bear is at the moment. But if you check a preview of previous video or my Instagram, you can see um, his bigger counterpart. Yeah, I don't see him right now. Anyway, so um, two inches, five millimeters thick. Um, it's a great, and the other thing is you guys can use these as a cabochon. I mean, yeah, it's kind of big for a ring, but definitely you could set it in, if you're a silversmith or something like that, you could set it in um, silver. Somebody actually contacted me about that, but I can't make, right now I can't make them smaller than two inches. So um, it might be cost prohibitive to, to make them into silver, although I kind of want to commission somebody to make one of these into a beautiful pendant for me using silver. But anyway, um, this guy is probably going to be 18 because he takes a little bit more work than the rest. Um, and then we have another electric blue with like a tribal. So this guy would be 15. I love him. 
so much fun okay so then here are the big boys this one's another one like that blue one um this one was just me trying to figure out a new technique i d okay so I, I simultaneously love how this came out and hate how part of it came out so i love the colors the turquoise actually this was supposed to be purple but i actually like how it turned out pink i don't love how the brown kind of escaped a little bit and i could didn't get it off before i sealed it but you know what looking from afar it's really cute like it's adorable i love the moon i love the flower i love the stars and i just love like the background i probably am not going to sell this one just because i don't think um anybody would want it the way it looks but i'll probably make a necklace out of it myself because i think it looks kind of cool I think I just love this rose over the moon. I don't know why, I just love it. Um, so in a shorter, in my other video, I showed you guys the, this one. However, this is a new version of the one I showed you before because it's the five millimeters thick. This is definitely, this is not gonna bend this. I mean, you could bend this. You're not gonna break it if you bend it. However, if you did, you would crack the finish and we don't want that. So this is definitely like looking at this. If I saw this on somebody, I would think they're wearing um ceramic and it's gonna hold up like ceramic but it's so lightweight and so much i just love it it's so retro it reminds me of this guy a little bit even though this one's a little more green um it, it just reminds me of like a roadside diner you'd see on like route 66 or something um or like a winter ski sweater you would wear or something so um these are going to be 25 plus shipping which is four dollars right now because shipping is crazy um but let me know um i'd probably free shipping it at fifty dollars so if you're interested this one i can take a made to order for um because i i i know i can make more than one of this in this style if you want a different color that might be a different um cup of tea because i've perfected this color um but let me know so there is more than one of these available and I have a thinner one available for 18 and, because I want to get rid of them. So then here's a new pattern that I tried. It's like a, um, an Aztec pattern. I'm loving it. It's got like the turquoise bleeding into the brown and it's almost like a watercolory ceramic look. He's 25. And then this guy, um, same price it's a big the big boy turquoise oh my gosh I love him I'm gonna I'm gonna make one if 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 nobody buys this honestly I'm keeping this and I'm making myself a necklace because I think it's so much fun if somebody does buy it I'm going to make keep or make another one um, I will be taking made to orders for these because I I figured out like the last one I showed you that how to make this one um, repeat itself however the um, pattern might be slightly differently placed I can't I don't know that I can get the same pattern in the same place every single time um, but let me know again if you're interested um, if you're not interested that's totally fine too I, I mean these these are fun for me to make like I said um, and I don't want to get to the point where I feel like I'm Amazon or a production line spinning out the same thing over and over again remember if you get a made to order piece it might be slightly different because it's handmade um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys today was this other pendant that I haven't done anything with yet. I haven't drilled a hole or put a bale on it. Oops. Um, it's like some beautiful like banana leaves almost fading up into from a forest, beautiful jungle green up into a lime yellow green. So this guy makes me happy. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I have some pants that actually have all of these color in, colors in them, like white. They're white capris with um, monstera leaves all over them. So this would go really well with those. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know either through Facebook, um, Instagram. Um, I have my Etsy shop. Uh, or let me know through the comments below if you're interested in anything you saw today. If not, I hope you got some great inspiration um, and I'd love to hear what you thought. Um, please leave me a comment, like and subscribe. And if you're interested or really loved it, please share with anybody who you think would love what they saw, what you saw today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye bye.